There's gonna be a lot of information in this video. So I don't know if you wanna take out your notepad or whatever and just take notes, but there is a lot of different setups. We're going over like four or five different setups in this video. So be prepared, baby. No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee a five minute delivery on all purchases and offer 24 7 customer support. Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. Welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In today's video we are going over the second installation of my free, free 99 Miami Dolphins ebook. If this is your first time on the channel and you didn't see the last video, what I'm basically doing is a video by video ebook of the Miami Dolphins playbook. So this is the playbook I've been running on offense the entire year and I feel like I have a pretty good offense and so basically I'm just going video by video on how to run this offense. As stated previously, this is my favorite play out of the entire book. This is pretty much the play I run, I'd say, 45% of the time and then with adjustments you can basically turn it into a play that will work against any coverage But before we get into the actual video as always I'm gonna go over the best and worst comment of the day last video I told you guys just comment something funny So I'm kind of just gonna read a few comments and uh, we're gonna see how funny you guys were Kevin Kinsella says maze I could land an airplane on your 6-3 ass forehead That's kind of funny. I do have a big ass fucking head. Jesus Christ. I'm ugly Trevor chimes in and says I heard maze is really 5-2 not 6-3 Madden Master 92, here I sit and wait. Shall I shit or masturbate? Link X says, how do you fit four gays on a stool? Flip it upside down. Bleed Green Nation, what's the smelliest thing in the world? An anchovy's vagina. Whenever I go golfing, I always bring an extra pair of pants. Why? Just in case I get a hole in one. I think what we learned from this experiment is that you guys really need to step your game up. I'm, I'm disappointed. I expected more from you. So let's get into the actual video, guys. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Like I said, we are in gun split close out of the Miami Dolphins playbook. I am using the Vikings for one specific reason, and that is because Adam Thielen has an ability called Slot Apprentice. Now, if you're playing Ultimate Team, Tory Holt gets Slot Apprentice, and he's the free player everyone gets. So I don't want to hear any comments saying you can't get Slot Apprentice. You can put Slot Apprentice on Tory Holt. He's a free player. All right, just get a little training, put it on him, you'll be okay. Adam Thielen is one who has it here, and I kind of need it for my offense to work. Like I said, in my last video, Gun Split Close comes with two wide receivers and a tight end. What you can do to switch out to three wide receivers is go to packages over to Strong Slot with your right stick, and from there you're going to. It glitches out, but this is where Kyle Rudolph originally was. Strong slot is going to move Kyle Rudolph to the left over here. I'm going to put Doxon over there uh, in, re in replace of Kyle Rudolph. Then I'm going to move Thielen to the right side. And then I'm going to put Diggs back over here. Now, when we go to gun split close, uh, we actually call a play. You're going to see there are three receivers on the field. You want Adam Thielen on the right. Or if you have a left-handed quarterback like Steve Young, you're going to want Adam Thielen on the left. All right, does that make sense? So... When I say Adam Thielen, whoever has slot apprentice, you either want them on the right or left, depending on if you have a right-handed or left-handed quarterback. You're going to want them on this single receiver side. Now, the play we're going over is called X-Drag Trail. If you have a right-handed quarterback, again, single receiver side, I like to have him on the right side. Uh, if, if 
it's a del if it's a left-handed quarterback, single receiver goes on the left side. So we're using a right-handed quarterback in Kirk Cousins. So I'm gonna flip the play, make my single receiver on the left or on the right. God damn it, on the right. All right, so here we go. As I said, Adam Thielen is now on the right side. We got Johnson and Diggs on the left. Like I said, we got three receivers on the field now. We subbed out that tight end. And Adam Thielen is one with route up or slot apprentice. What slot apprentice does, if you go to hot route Adam Thielen, you see he's got extra routes on the right. He's got cross, post, corner, and stop and go. Now the ones I use almost exclusively are the post and the corner. We're not gonna deal with that right now. To start, let's go over the one play touchdowns and the plays you can use without having slot apprentice on anybody. So this is what the play looks like. Again, I said it's flipped because I have a right-handed quarterback, and that is because my one play touchdown is gonna be going to the right side of the field. So if you look at the defense, I call the cover three to start because this is the one that I'm going to eat alive. If my opponent runs a cover three, this is where I get a majority of my one play touchdowns. It's very simple. All you're going to do is, is uh, motion Johnson, that shorter post, the more shallow one, the X receiver, motion him to the right. Then you're going to double team the right end. And when you hike it, you're going to roll out to the right a little bit and hit digs on uh, pass leading him to the sideline. And it's going to be one play touchdown. I'll show you right now. I'm going to double team that end, motion him over, and watch this. It works better with Escape Artist. But as you can see, easy one play touchdown. Harris is actually really fast. Normally an ultimate team, uh, Diggs or whoever you have at receiver is going to outrun Harris. Harris is a really fast safety, but it's extremely simple. All you got to do is motion this guy over and you got a one play touchdown. I'll show you one more time. He actually broke the double team, which obviously isn't ideal. But as you see there, very easy, very simple. I'll go into the instant replay. Um, and show you guys why it's working. It's a very simple concept. So if you look at here, this is the guy we're motioning over. Uh, this is Johnson. He's on a, on a post route. So when you motion him over to the other side, it becomes a corner route. When he runs his corner route, he's essentially occupying this deep third right here. He thinks he has to play this corner. He doesn't see this post coming behind him. That leaves a huge gap over here. Now, when you throw it, you're gonna pass leave to the sideline, and if he's fast enough, he's just gonna catch that and take it up. Now, we can run this in the middle of the field sometimes. Ideally, we wanna run it to the short side of the field. So if you respot the ball, so now you see we're running it to the short side of the field. This is pretty crucial. So no matter where I am on the field, whether I have a right-handed or left-handed quarterback, I'm gonna run this to the short side of the field. So even if I have a right-handed quarterback and I'm on the left side of the field, I'm gonna roll him out left and still throw it left over there. Now, I'm gonna show you guys why this works so much better than the short side of the field. If we can get some good blocking here, uh, it should work great. So we're gonna motion over Johnson again, and that corner route is what's gonna occupy that uh, deep third right there. Now you see that time he was really open, all right? I know it wasn't too much of a difference because he was pretty open both times, but he was a little bit more open the second time. Now the reason is, is if you see when we hike the ball, the free safety starts drifting back to the middle of the field. So now if our ball is spotted on the right hash, this post route is gonna be further away from the free safety. You see now he has about a solid five yard head start on to the right, as opposed to if we were in the middle of the field or even on the left of the field, that free safety would be more over the top of him. Now I move the ball over to the left hash and I'm gonna show you, we're running it to the wide side of the field. It is no longer going to work. So we, mo we motion this guy over and it is no longer gonna work because that free safety is gonna be right on top of him. I lied, it worked. But you see, he actually ended up getting hit and, and he dropped it. So it still can work. It's just very not as effective. A lot of times you're gonna get hit right after you catch it. And sometimes they're even gonna drop it. And sometimes they'll even intercept it. So I would never recommend running this play to the wide side of the field. So next we're gonna be looking at a Tampa two. This coverage, I don't know any one play touchdowns out of, but I have about three or four different ways to get about a 30 yard gain every single time against a cover two. I love when my opponents in cover two because I can absolutely dot it. So the first way you can dot up this cover to without using slot apprentice or anything like that is to the wide side of the field you're gonna put Thielen on a streak and they're gonna motion over your square receiver the one that's on the very deep post you're gonna motion him over and roll out to the right again and he's gonna get wide open on the sideline so I motion him over you see there he's wide open he can sometimes take that out of the field get a touchdown depends on who you're playing and who's out there at safety but as you see I got a gain of about 40 yards right there so once again against the cover two you're going to take digs and motion him over and put Thielen on a streak what that's gonna do is the streak is gonna push that deep zone back 
And then that deep post is going to get to the other side of uh, on the other side of the cloud flat. So to a cover two, I'm always going to be attacking that zone right behind the cloud flat and that's in front of the deep zone. Another way you can get between those zones is with a corner route from Thielen. So like I said, he has slot apprentice. So you're going to go to Thielen and put him on a corner route. That's with your uh, little D pad right there. And that deep corner is going to get right between the cloud flat and the deep zone. I'll show you right now. Right there. And again, that's another gain of about 30 yards. Now, another way you're going to be able to beat a cover two or cover three um, is with that slot apprentice once again. You got this play right here. You're going to block your running back. So just get those guys out of the way. Put digs on a streak. And then you're going to put Thielen on a post. So now you have two deep crossing routes. You have a streak on the left side, going to push off the safety. And you're basically going to take whatever one the user doesn't choose because both of those are going to get pretty, pretty open. Your first read is going to be Thielen because the streak is going to make him more wide open. Right there. And that was another gain, like I said, guys, of about 30. So we are absolutely shredding this cover too. If you guys can get the, the blocking, then you're gonna be able to dot up your opponent any way you want. Now these crossing routes can pretty much work against any coverage. Um, the only thing that's really gonna stop it is a user. And because you have two of them on the field, it's gonna be really tough to stop. So because the streak again is on the left, that side is gonna be way more open. And uh, that's one you're gonna choose first. But if it's not there, the right side will probably be open too. And you might be saying, what if they run man coverage? Because man coverage is something that's kind of tough to, to beat this year. But this play is literally man beating routes across fields. So we got man coverage right there. And you can literally just run this play stock. Like just the, every, pretty much every play, every uh, route on the field is going to beat man in some way or another. That one I threw the, the, the post right there. Now if you watch Madison too, when I switch to man coverage, uh, Madison right here is that little V corner from the, um, the running back. Toasted man coverage as well. Um, the drag from Thielen is going to toast man. Like pretty much anything you want is going to toast man. And then of course you have slot apprentice for Thielen. So if they run man, you can literally put him on a corner route. And you know corner routes beat man very easily. So again, another toasted man once again. And he's going to be off to the races. So if I summarize everything for you guys right now, take out your notes. It's a lot of information. We're going against a cover three. You're going to want to run it to the short side of the field. So rotate that play over. Now we got the single receiver on the left. We're going to run it toward the short side. Motion over this uh, this little corner route. Wait for him to get open, and there we go. I didn't. I actually ran out of bounds, but again, in mutt, it's going to be a little bit easier than if they're running a cover two. Get a million things you can do here. My favorite is put Thielen on a streak. Motion over the deep post. Remember to double team that end so you can roll out of there. Again, a gain of about 30. Another thing you can do against the cover two is simply put Thielen on a corner route. And then once again, double team that end. Easy dot right there. And then once again, another thing you can do, no matter the coverage, put Thielen on a crossing right there. So you got two crossing routes. You can block your running back. So that's what the play will look like. You wait for somebody to get open. That's another big gain right there. If they run man coverage, you can literally do whatever you want because basically everything is going to get open. And that's basically it, guys. I will say the weakest point of this play is if they decide to run cover four. Cover four is probably my biggest weakness this year. I have trouble beating it because I don't have a ton of cover four beaters in my playbook that I use. But um, if you run the crossers play that I showed you, that should be cover four pretty good. I know that was a lot of different setups and routes in one play, but if you kind of just work with it and you start running this play in this playbook, you're going to really learn them just like off the top of your head and you're going to experiment and try what works for you. And then again, in Mutt, if you have Andrew Luck with Dashing Deadeye or Steve Young with Roaming Deadeye, and you have, I mean, Steve Smith, excuse me. But if you have Escape Artist, all these things, it's going to make rolling out so much easier. And then uh, the thing I love about this formation too is you can block the running backs. You can be blocking seven and still have great route combinations on the field. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as possible. And then also you guys can answer each other's questions because I know you guys talk a lot in the comments and stuff like that. But this is my favorite play this year. It is so versatile. So many different setups. You run the same play over and over and over again and run it a different way every time and have your opponent confused as hell because there's no, uh, there's no previous play.
play so they can't see what you were running and so they'll just be really confused the whole time but if you like this video you want to see more from the miami dolphins ebook leave a like down below don't forget to subscribe if you're new join the milk gang let's go baby and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video